Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 54 of Modern Skyblock. Today, we are working on making things better for ourselves. Um, and I've been doing a little bit of work off camera to prepare for what I'm working on right now. But I've made myself a magma crucible. Thing, thing. That should run a little bit faster now. Oh yeah, that's what's up. That's pretty quick. That's not bad. It's 3,750 RF attack to convert gobble into uh, what we are making, which is lava. But it looks like our gas burning generator is keeping up with that demand. Uh, the ethylene production is not necessarily keeping up with that demand. But uh, we could look into making that work a little better if we needed to. Uh, but the TLDR on that is that that lava is then piping into, and we'll find like a better way to do lava maybe, um, but that's piping into making obsidian for us, uh, which, which, is, which is definitely a thing that we want to get going on. Also, uh, astute observers may have noticed that you are not hearing a jetpack sound. <laughs> Take that, people who think I don't read comments. No, I totally noticed people saying like the jetpack sound was a little bit annoying. Uh, so I've, uh, I've managed that a little bit and cleaned it up. Um, so with that said, uh, we now have uh, some more things going on. So I've, I've been doing a little bit of testing between episodes. Uh, and what I've discovered is that um, even this, hello, uh, ain't, 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 ain't so hot. Um, and, and I know there were comments that said that I should, there's like a, there's a block I can add to this that will like prioritize which recipes it will try to do. So like, um, you can add it to the multi block and basically say like, hey, try and do blaze first. Uh, and if that doesn't work out, then do redstone. The problem is, is that um, even if I did that, which sounds like a good idea, and it's not a bad idea, but even if I had done that, or if I do do that, uh, what's gonna happen is uh, it's still gonna drop multiple um, things in there at once and it's not going to work out very well. So I think even, even knowing that that's an option, uh, I think it's still probably in our best interest to have a separate uh, exploder thingy per whatchamacallit. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, so how am I for power conduits uh, from mechanism? Do you have any more? basic universal cables that you can hook me up with. That would be cool. Yay, more advanced universal cables, good. Uh, so what I wanna do is make another one of those guys. We're gonna need a little bit more refined obsidian, which shouldn't be too bad to get our hands on. Uh, and I think what I can do is uh, pulverize up this stuff. Yeah, that'll do. Nice, that should be a stack. Uh, so now we have a little bit better of a source of obsidian because we, we definitely need more obsidian than we've had. Uh, I keep running into a point where I need more obsidian. So I'm like, all right, so that's why I set up the magma crucible uh, and, and the, the thing between episodes. And what's nice is I threw an augment in that uh, igneous extruder that makes it not need water. So like it doesn't even need any water at all with this uh, pyroclastic injection augment in there. So basically every bucket of water that shows up uh, will be good. So that's cool. So another stack of cobble should equate to a, basically another stack of cobblestone. So long story short, put cobble in here, get cobble, get obsidian out here. And that is nifty. So let's get some refined obsidian. Uh, refresh my memory what the order of operations is here. I always forget. Is it just refined obsidian dust? Yes. And that is made in which of these? Uh, the diamond one, right. So let's do like half a stack. Does that sound cool? And I should consider speeding up some of these guys. Uh, obviously, the ones that I use frequently are sped up, but the ones that I don't use as much are not as sped up. Uh, but that's okay. Um, is that the right one? Liquid osmium. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Cool. So we're going to set up another um, combustion doohickey, right? And that should be fine. Psst, this is the part where you start working. You can't be out of power. Uh, side config? Can you be out of power? No, you're out of osmium. Oh, huh, oh well, there's your problem. I'm like, hey, wait a minute. I, it, I, it, it looked to me like we had way more osmium than we did, but 
That just must have been my eyes. Playing tricks on me. Like, wait a minute. I guess we burned through osmium pretty quickly here. Uh, we might want to look into getting a little bit more osmium out of this guy. And I think we might have aluminum, platinum, nickel, tin, copper, gold, ardite, primus, cobalt, lead. Do I not have any osmium? Alchemical ore dust? It's a purple one. Okay, so clay and two glowstone will get me that. So clay and two glowstone. I think that's one set. Good. Perfect. Depending on what you're crafting, it kind of works or it kind of doesn't. So clay and two glowstone should get me lots of osmium alchemical ore dust. Beautiful. So today's plan is more automation and organization. That's kind of what's up for me today. Let's throw four in here. Uh, I'd really like to like super finalize a lot of the auto crafting that I've been working on. Nice. So we're actually making progress here a little bit. But we are actually hurting for osmium now, officially. It might make it. Yay. It's good enough for me. So let's get another uh, refined obsidian-based combustor dude. So we want the combustion heater, not not derp it up like I did last episode with, a, with the wrong thing. Uh, but hopefully we have enough for another one of these and another combustion heater. What's this guy? Refined obsidian heat provider. Oh, that's cool. That's neat. I like that. That's cool. Okay, anyway, uh, back to you. You. Yay, we had enough. Perfect. Uh, so let's get another timer from Dark Utilities. Might need a little bit more redstone while we're at it. So this might gum up. It depends how lucky we are. A little bit of luck and it doesn't gum up. Looks like we lucked out. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. It's all in the luck of the draw right now. But shortly, uh, we will have a better situation set up. So that looks good. Um, that looks cool. Now let's just get some glass, because I just kind of like the way that looks. And, and a quick dropper. Needs one of you. Needs some of you. Needs a little bit more glowstone. One makes five, so. Uh, and then the collector. Which one of those? This guy, combustion collector. Cool. So let's split out. Hey you, don't, 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 don't play these games with me, Enderman. To do automate the killing of those things. So how are you on channels right here, buddy? Uh, you're coming off of what that? So we have we have room for another channel. Another plan for today will probably uh, involve me. Let's see. So we're gonna want basically uh, organizing my cabling. I'm thinking it's time to get into uh, the subnetting and all that stuff. So let's see. One, two. You and you. So subnetting will probably also play a role in today's episode, I hope. I hope we can get there, let's just put it that way. Uh, so you, and then we're gonna have the collector go here. We're going to have um, Oh, I need another interface. Almost forgot, I need one of those. Oh, and we're what access to our system here would be super nice so I don't have to keep going back and forth whenever I want something new. Cool. And then the quick dropper. Okay. So that should be good. 
And then my timer, what do we set this guy to? 20, so every second. I think that seems reasonable, right? 20. And you can see I made a bunch of cables between episodes. So what I'm gonna do is basically just remove uh, the redstone pattern and put him in, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put redstone here and glowstone here. Uh, and then finally, we just need the item routing bit, this, this smart guy. And you set to disable this. Cool. Okay. So that should be good. So now, if we request like a bunch of glowstone, this should all work because it'll all drop into the appropriate spots. Cool. supposed to do could have sworn it looked like there was redstone in that other guy crafting 20 didn't it look like there was redstone in the left hand one why would that have happened all oh, right uh and you need to there we go now we're good good to go well we'll just keep an eye on it that looks good to me. All right, so that's all hooked up. Let's come back in a minute here uh, once I'm ready. You know what I'm also gonna wanna do is the void upgrades on those things, which totally needs another one of you, and that means you go in here, and that's cool. More obsidian, all the obsidians. Yeah, I wanted all these void upgrades. That sounds nice. Okay, so you can get Void upgraded, void upgraded, and void upgraded. So that'll cause these things to not back stuff. But like I said, I'd rather these not back stuff than have uh, these guys be all annoying. Like, why is gravel going up there? Why would gravel be exiting this line? It shouldn't be because the blue line has a red on the X on the up. Does that look like gravel in there? Does this one also have an X on the up? This one doesn't even do gravel. Yeah, green should be a green on the up. How did gravel get up there? That shouldn't have even happened. Oh well. So much of this needs to be cleaned up. So much of my base needs to be cleaned up. It's overwhelming the amount of fixing of, n of, of nonsense. <laughs> that I need to do. Uh, but we will make it happen and we will make it right. All right, guys, I think my next task, uh, call me crazy, uh, is to automate some more aspects of applied energetics so that we can start making sure that we have all the things we want for automation. Um, and then you can hear my processing downstairs because I'm waiting for this interface to craft, which I thought would be a little faster than this, but I guess it's not. That's okay. Come on, interface, let's go. There you are, thanks. Uh, so I want to get my charger automated, if I may. Uh, that sounds like a smart move. Uh, so what's coming off this side here? Seven out of eight channels. Uh, and coming out the top right now is four. So what if I decided I wanted to automate... So like, what if we put right here an interface with this guy? You know what, I wouldn't mind him actually facing the right way. That would be cool. And would you be able to do that for me? Wrong cable. So what if I told you that Certus Hello, how did a creeper get him up here? What? Where did a creeper even come from? That's what I want to know. Become Certus. Sneaky creepers. Would that work? 
so that I could ask for like 10 Sardis Crystals, and that would be cool. Yeah, that looks like it's working. Nice. Beautiful. I like it. Okay, cool. Uh, and then what we want to say is that a charged Sirtis Quartz Crystal plus a Redstone plus a Quartz should equal a Fluix Crystal. Let's actually get our Redstone and Quartz because I think we have to make one of these. And that goes into here, which we already have an interface on, right? You, you, and you should make a Fluix Crystal pretty quickly. Um, and it makes two Fluix Crystals, actually. So it's a good thing I actually made that. Otherwise, I would have derped up the recipe. Aha. Uh -huh. Right? So you go in there. And are you... You're doing import busing. Let's remove the import bus. Uh, just to save us a channel. And let's go with uh, this method. Because for now, channels are kind of our problem. We'll be fixing that in a minute, but for now, that's the situation we find ourselves in. That and getting up and down <laughs> in our base. <laughs> that's the other problem we have, is the lack of an elevator. Uh, because apparently open blocks is too OP to have at this stage of the game. Apply to just six, no problem. Open blocks, whoa. Calm down there, Chief. Uh, so now if I ask for a Fluix Crystal, you should have no problem. So if I took away your Sirtis, right, and I said, hey, make me a Fluix Crystal, you should have all the things you need to make that. Booms, explosions, good times, nice, cool. Now, uh, let's do, how much do we get per, I just want to test it in the actual machine to make sure it works, and then we'll go from there, but it should be two. Or is it one? Is it one? It's one, that's right. Okay, I remember now. Uh, but also, before we do that, let's also make sure that Advanced Logistical Transporter is set for extracting. Okay, so it is one. That's right, because to double it, you want to add sand to it. So then you, sir, shall be that one of you equals one of you. So now, in the interface terminal, we can put... I believe you to be correct. Okay, nice. So now we should be able to autocraft that. So if I wanted like a stack of Fluix dust, right? Middle click, I think to, let's get like 40 of it. Nice. Explosions are happening and we can see it autocrafting. Perfect, that's what I want to see. All right, now I want to make a wireless access point. And I think I should be able to do that. Hopefully I don't need like a nether star or something crazy like that. Uh, no, it doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. Wireless crafting terminal, doesn't look too bad. I think I can pull this off because I definitely want one of these, like desperately. Um, so let's do this. Wireless uh, crafting terminal. First off, we need a terminal, um, which just needs a processor. Just make 10 of them for me. Uh, no crafting CPUs are available. All right, I should probably get a few more crafting CPUs at some point. Um, you're still crafting. Are you doing a thing? Now, why would you ever put... How did these things get together, I wanna know. Explain, explain how that's happening. Without an explosion, no less. Right? Isn't that weird? Without an explosion, that's happening? So maybe I do want to, for this one, make sure that they don't... Like, the combustion collector should get that right away, though. Like, it really should. Okay, so you should still be processing. You're crafting redstone currently? Why do I feel like you're trying to put redstone in here when you shouldn't be? Why do I feel like you've derped up a little bit? Because I feel like you're crafting redstone when you really, really shouldn't be. So I'm gonna like break and replace this guy. I feel like that's what's happening over here, right? 
Am I crazy? Or or what? Gunpowder and how much blaze did we have here? 24? Good enough for me. Yeah. Because there shouldn't have been blaze going into that. And it should collect the moment it, it, it explodes. So, something fishy with that. But now we at least completed the craft, so that's good. So you should be done crafting here in a moment. And I, and I need to add more crafting CPUs, but I need to do a lot with applied energistics to make it better. Cool. Now you can make the 10 gold processors for me. Cool. And the reason I wanted that wireless crafting terminal thing you're gonna be a minute uh, but this thing I needed eight of these and I needed a lot of fluid stuff for that so that's what kind of like you know triggered the whole let's make this now guy cool and I think I need two of these so I might as well just make them now and we'll get one of these, and we'll get one of these, and we'll get one of these. So that's cool. And yay, I'm getting power from... I think the wireless charger is doing that, so yay. Uh, and then we're going to want the wireless access point, right? Um, and that is this dude. Which we just need another one of these for. Remember I told you I would need another one of those? Yeah, I wasn't lying. Uh, and then we're going to probably want a lot of these. So that's just uh, crushed up ender pearls, right? One to one, one to one, one to two in that grinder. But I guess pulverizer is where it's going to be. So let's get like 16 of them in the pulverizer. That should be quick. Nice. That ain't so bad. A little bit more flux dust. Wouldn't be terrible. No CPUs available. You're actually making the very last one right now. Come on. You can do it. Thank you. So hopefully this guy behaves himself, but we'll find out. Uh, some more fluid dust happening, right? Nice. So we're going to want... I'm going to start with like 10, and we'll see like... How that does for us in terms of the range because i don't want to go too crazy remember the more uh boosters we put in this thing the crazier uh it gets in terms of power use and i'd like to avoid that a little bit but generally like right here is where we're going to set that up and so that's a 47.6 meter range we're probably going to want more than that i would think and don't we need the security terminal from applied energistics to make this work so we're going to want didn't i make an iron an emmy chest I swore I made an Emmy chest. I swore I made one. Did I void it because I decided that I didn't need it? I, I wouldn't I wouldn't put that past me. It sounds like something stupid I would do. It's taking you so long, buddy. Oh, you're crafting uh oh you're making pure certus for me. So I just crafted a whole bunch of redstone and it definitely worked out better than it had in the past. Um, <clears throat> so, are you making a bunch of 4K ME storage components for me? Please? Ah, you're crafting a few more logic processors. Well, that makes sense. Uh, because I need, in order to get the security terminal guy, I need a 16K, which shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, realistically, we just need uh, another quartz glass. Nice. And then you can be used to make the security terminal, which all of a sudden I don't have everything for. Two, please. Thank you. Nice. Hooray, quest updated. Uh, that was a quest, apparently. Look at that. Neat. 
Uh, so you're what coming out of here? You're a six at the moment. So let's just tap this guy into wherever for the time being. Um, so I think I just do that. And then we're cool to access this thing now. Hooray! 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 That is awesome. Now let's make it a crafting terminal. Because you know that's what we want to do next. Uh, so crafting... And remember, there's the Infinity Booster card. So I think once I get this, uh, we don't have to worry about that range thing. Uh, wireless crafting terminal. Basically just needs an ME crafting terminal. So we want another one of these. We have a calculation processor. Let's get another one of these going. Uh, and it definitely seems to be working better now that I broke and replaced that interface. So I think the interface was stuck for some reason. And I don't know what that reason is, but we'll figure it out. So wireless crafting terminal is uh, about to be ours, which will be cool. So you can now make one of these, and one of these, and one of these, and one of these. Hooray! Right, I have to add it to the security terminal. Nice! That's what's up. Oh boy. All right. Um, so let's add you to this. We're gonna put one of these in here. Infinity energy, 500 units. Okie dokie. How does this work? Does this like use up power while I'm out of range or something? Infinity energy is low. Oh, look at you. Oh. So I guess there's kind of a reason to have infinity booster cards more than one that's a new mechanic that is very much a new mechanic aha well look at that have i been saving these probably not i think i've been voiding them haven't i so that's a mechanic that's changed just a teensy bit just a teensy bit uh i mean i have a few It's a bummer though, but I bet if I put them all in there. So what I'll do is I still need those wireless range cards. So let's just do range upgrades. Um, yeah, as soon as I saw that infinity wireless thing, I'm like, hmm, is that what I think it is? So let's throw some more range upgrades in there and call it a day, right? Yeah, 200 meter range, that that should do me just fine, right? So I go out here, pretty much anywhere I am in my base should not be using energy units, and that's cool. Nice. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna call that a good wrapping up point. Uh, we've, we, we got wireless power today, we got better automation. Next episode, we absolutely, without a doubt, need to organize our cabling, because it's become kind of a nightmare. Um, but what I'm going to do is uh, get some dense cables going on. So let's teach this thing how to make dense cables. Um, so we're going to want just dense smart cable Fluix, right? Really? That's a thing? Okay. I thought all dense cables were smart, but maybe that's another thing that's changed uh, in the mod. Oh, hey, no, that's not right. Uh, hey, you be smart, please. Ugh. Killing me, Smalls. All right, cool. So now you can get me 
So you're missing pure Fluix crystal. So I should teach it how to make that too, right? So if we got some Fluix uh, dust, right? Uh, you can combine with these to make that. And that goes in here. And let's make one. And we're going to say one of these makes one pure Fluix crystal. And that will go into the crystal growth chamber. And now if I ask for that, it should be good. Nice. All right, so with that, I'm going to say Daryl 27 and all. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next episode, and hopefully all this auto-crafting worked. And if all this auto-crafting worked, I'm going to be happy. Uh, also, one more thing I want to call out, because I saw it also in the comments that you guys left. Uh, and this is something I haven't noticed all series. I'm 55 episodes in. I never noticed that you could turn flint into gunpowder in the combustion chamber. So that's cool. And I can totally auto-craft flint from gravel. So, like, gunpowder is not as much of a problem as I thought it was going to be for me. Um, I'm still going to let the thing that's going on over there happen. Uh, and then when we get to the point where we're really choking on gunpowder, uh, I'll basically make all that work. All right, guys. Dial 20 signing off. Again, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, you know the routine. Take it easy.